What's up, Land Cruiser World? Friends, family. Shout out to my uh, cousin Clark who said, hey, you should do a walk around of your cruise. Uh, it's a super awesome composer in LA. Uh, so I guess for those that maybe are curious, like my cousin, this is a walk around of the cruise. Just took a road trip out. Um, this isn't details about how we made it or what <laughs> we made it out of. There's a lot of uh, super smart Asian guy who built out his Tacoma uh, for camping and my wife actually did most of the planning, um, at least for the parts, and then we got together and made this happen. So, anyway, this is a pullout for the cruise. This is kind of what she looks like. Um, so, we got two compartments, um, two crazy basset hounds loving to play right now. Um, so, there's this is the beautiful. We still need a lot of stuff to do to make it more rigid and pretty. Obviously, I don't want to have. <laughs> A foam mattress this is bump stops basically when you stop and go uh, this is a, a three-quarter inch anyway um, pine uh, and this is a mattress topper uh, that I just cut down to size because this goes from wheel well to wheel well in terms of length um, and that's actually super beneficial and it still has little compartments um, took some batteries from work because I have a converter uh, anyway I'll show you what that looks like so this comes uh, and pulls out this as a the garage is what I call that. This is uh, the necessities for what we might need um, Nice and easily and reachable. This is actually a compartment for silverware uh, When we do set up for camping uh, for me, I have waters obviously so another compartment for dishes and what we're not we're gonna need this is the storage compartment for food or what we did this is where all our clothes went actually um it's a decent amount of uh space cubic feet um and it was really nice to have this and then put some leds uh it's actually really nice at night uh i'll show you how i hook those up i got those from costco which is pretty cool um go chiefs part usual uh this is like kind of another storage area uh that we built this is where the camper is going to go actually or the camping stove so that comes out here pulls out and blah blah blah, blah. and we put another kind of little storage area and if you pull this out even more I still need to work on support for that it's a little bit heavy but uh, it's a sink uh, it's gonna be a removable faucet uh, this is kind of where the dump buckets gonna go for the actual faucet and this is the compartment for the water so it's actually a lot of space um like i said the, it's it's functional right now it still needs a little little bit of work uh, to handle a little bit more use um but it's really nice uh and it works out really well especially if you want to be out and about um close that out and have a nice little picnic bench um but yeah seats i slept in it last night because it was raining so i had me and the two dogs uh, we just hung out and heard the rain, and it was really, really magical. Really, really great sleep. Um, I guess one thing, some practical things I would definitely do. What's up? Are you doing a video where can I let Ollie out? You can let Ollie out, yeah. This is uh, kind of how we supported it down. Um, and and then this is just kind of some extra storage space that you actually have back here. Uh, the wheel wells, you still have a lot of storage space. Um, people build, got a DVD player for the long road trips. Um, and this is the power inverter, uh, that I highly recommend you getting. It's a nice hundred bucks. Um, you can do USB, you can do your normal outlet, which is pretty sweet, uh, to have all around. Um, pretty simple. And then you still have a pretty awesome amount of space right back here. It's right here you know odds and ends i still want to make it more user friendly but all in all she is doing her job great made it over the mountains in uh 26 hour drive which is pretty sweet um currently she's at 269,000 miles um did a tire rotation before we left um and she's running smooth did a lot of stuff before we left check engine light came on and you know did uh the o2 sensors and 
yeah, I'm really proud of what we're doing. Uh, I never actually meant to make a camper, which is funny. Uh, and it was really my wife's idea to make a camper. And it's actually really practical. Like I can fully extend out. Um, I'm only five, seven on a good day. So if you're taller than that, I don't know what the hell you're going to do. That's not my problem. But uh, yeah, all in all, I killer matted uh, the entire truck. Uh, underneath the bed is all killer mat. Um, another thing that I did was killer matted the inside uh, of all the door panels, all of this entire thing. Uh, again, this is rotted. I actually redid this myself uh, with the vapor barrier. Um, and it's quieted it down a lot. Uh, I took these speakers out because uh, it's actually nice. You can have most of the sound up front and uh the speakers quieted back and so it's kind of a uh kind of a two two compartments for the driver and the people that are sleeping so anyway that's the walk around uh again i'll have those links to who we followed for building out your camper um uh, it took us a long time i'd say overall probably about 45 hours uh, just because I'm not a carpenter, I don't work with wood. Uh, <laughs> so you can do it. It's definitely, I had a skill saw and a couple of drills and impact and whatnot. But outside of that, it's worked out really well. So anyway, hope you guys have a good holiday and um, enjoy yourselves and take care.